This is Lola Lee T. Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? Welcome to my channel. So Krishan was on Instagram Live with a quick PSA and she was thanking her cult, her fan base, the people that love her. She said she has been going through a stage. She's realizing what she was doing before wasn't doing anything for her, meaning the type of show she did. She says she will more likely be on a BMF type show rather than a show like Baddies again. She wants to do it right this time. It's time to elevate, she said. So listen to what Krishan had to say. What's up, life? I can see y'all in a minute. I was just get up on here real quick because <sighs> I just wanted to say something. PSA, PSA, you feel me? Public service announcement. <sighs> I always get nervous when I get on live now. I don't even know why. Maybe because I never really like anticipate to get on and I'm like, but I want to say something. I need to say something to my, to my, to my cult, <laughs> to my fan base, <laughs> to the motherfuckers that's loyal that love me <laughs> or this bitch. Hey yo, I just want to say thank you. You feel me? Cause this is why I want to say thank you. Right? I've been going through a stage like everybody thought. Yeah, yeah I took off because you know I'm holding down my BD. Yeah, I'm holding down my BD, but nah, I really took off from like all this shit that just like shows dropping anything because it's like I wanted to do it right this time. You feel me? And I got the opportunity to make this right. Like, so I'm not taking on the same deals. I'm not taking the same money. I'm not taking the same. I'm not doing the same shows just because. It's not doing nothing for me. Like, I already got what I got from it. You feel me? So now it's, like, time to elevate. So I've been already in the process of doing my own network and shit, uh, talking to these good partners or whatever about it, just fishing my options and shit to, like, be in a better position into what, like, you know? So, like... Yeah. So when you take a step back for real, you go through like this grace period, like this period when everything just stale and stale. Not stale and stale, but like just stale, like, you know, just like everything just, you feel me? Silence, like on purpose though. But while all that, I'm getting mentioned. Like it go from the biggest hater on the block to one of the most, I don't know. Biggest people you can name, or you feel me? Niggas listen to me on their songs. So let's talk about what really inspired this Instagram Live, which brings us to the story post from Krishan. She said, I got no clue what Ragey talking about on The Breakfast Club. But I'm thinking here that somebody probably sent this clip to Krishan and she wanted to clarify. So let's continue on. She said, just letting you all know. I'm in my elevating era, so popping off like this, so popping off like I used to ain't me no more. I literally got females following what I did. I'm making room for a big dog stuff instead. I'm into movies or something serious in the film production world, more likely be on BMF than, than a crouchy type bad girls club type of show again. Also, I'm spreading my interest into owning a network myself with potential partners. She wants to do something great, more inspiring. And she says, um, it's okay. I've been leading up to putting everything together. Everything will be coming soon. Just expect nothing but elevation. And Krishan was actually responding to Sukiana's post, which featured Ray J talking about his new network. So as some of you guys may know, Sukiana has quit Baddies Caribbean to pursue her show on, Ray's, on Ray J's network. And to give you guys some context, in this old post from the Neighborhood Talk, Ray J gets 75 million for his exit from Raycon Global and plans to use his shares to launch Tronx Network, his new television platform, Tronx Network initially offer 80 plus hours of TV programming featuring renowned figures from leading shows on linear television and OTT platforms such as Ray J, Blueface, 
Krishan and blah, blah, blah. So in this live, Krishan was definitely clearing up some things for sure. Let's continue to listen in. Mentioning me like I'm talking about them mentioning me, not like oh, not like oh they mentioning me like uh, a couple months ago or like when I first started when I first blew up or I'm talking about every other day or month periodically. You feel me? There's somebody's mentioning me, and I'm going through like what about you feel me? Like what about like? Moments, but I'm just laid back, but loaded up. You feel me? I'm in my loaded up era. Like, I'm in this era when I'm not doing too much because I'm, it's a lot of shit I'm doing behind the scenes. So, I just want to say a big thank you. You feel me? That's it. Like, that shit lit. It has love for it too, because. I hold myself in a high standard. I ain't gonna hold you. I beat myself up more than y'all. Could be me up, like, uh, you feel me? Like, I said the worst shit to myself before I read it in the comments. Like, you feel me? Like, I'm just excited for, like, what I'm about to put out down. Like, everything that y'all waiting for is going to be worth the wait, too. And plus, I feel like I got to redeem myself. I ain't going to lose you. This ain't, this ain't the Krishan. Like, like, the Krishan. Like, this ain't. This ain't that. That's what I mean. Like, I'm not even close to where I want to be at. So it's like, you feel me? I can't even, um, but that's all I wanted to get up over here and say. You feel me? Pop my shit, say thank you. Oh, yeah. The shit with Breakfast Club with, um, with Ray J. I see that. Um, I don't know what he was talking about because I ain't hear nothing. I ain't get no conversation, you feel me? But, you know, I'm down to make some money. I'm down to see what the fuck going on. But I ain't doing the same shit. I ain't, you feel me? I ain't. I'm hearing that she doesn't want to do another baddies type show. But can you guys see Krishan and Blueface on Ray J's network? Can you see it? Or can you see them just doing their own thing, having their own network? I'm not doing the same shit. They go watch, but I ain't doing the same shit. Like, I'm doing something different. It's going to be, yeah, like that. But, yeah, you know, I'm just loading up right now. I'm in this era when I'm just by myself in my little peace world, plotting, charting, putting shit, dating, praying, writing, recording. You feel me? Producing, making shit, like, just creating. Because y'all fuck with me. As soon as I put, like, a date up or anything, I'm sold out. Or, like, you know, booked and busy. So, as soon as I'm ready to work. Then I like this time that I got with my son. Like, I'm just with him. And just be a son, be a son, be a son. So, he get bigger and bigger. So, that's the cool part. And then I've been working out and shit. I play football now. I'm in my little element. That should be over ESPN. Like, I'm cool. I'm cool as fuck. So, I just want to say thank you. This was the whole point of the live. To say thank you. Uh, <laughs> free my baby daddy. <laughs> you're, you're, free blue. Uh, stay blessed, y'all. That's all I got to say. Stay out, stay out the way. And if you just focus on you, what's in your lane, it don't matter what's going on anywhere around you, feel me? That's all that matters. And you just have fun. Because at first, you know, I was, at first I was like, saying on a lot of negative shit, and it made me want to respond. It made me want to, like, pop my shit, but it's like, why would I even do that, you feel me? I just like y'all just talking shit, just let y'all talk shit, because... That's what y'all like to do. Y'all like to talk shit. So I had to accept that. Like, oh, these niggas like to talk shit. Like, okay. They talk shit then, baby. So I'm not y'all talk shit. Uh, if you got hate, 
towards me or whatever, drop it because I don't know why you got that in your heart against me. So I bless it. You know what I'm saying? I'm praying for it. You feel me? I ain't even really sparked it up. But yeah, I ain't really like, I'm just thankful. Everybody just mentioned me. That's it. Like, just imagine you just the most talked about motherfucker in the entire world. It's probably one of the coolest things, but one of the worst feelings. Like, it's the best thing because money-wise, business-wise, you can do a lot. You can accumulate a lot with that. But then dealing with the other shit that you'll talk to a therapist about, all that shit is like, it's a handful, you feel me? So you got to be a real nigga to really survive <laughs> in this world shit. Because life will keep life in, and life is life in. You feel me? So, yeah, that's all I got to say. Um, my bad. This blood is kicking. But I'm going to call y'all later because I don't even call y'all like that. So I'm going to have to call you back. You feel me? All right. So you guys heard what Krishan had to say. Like she said, she wanted to say thank you to her fans. She wanted to clarify some things. And she said she's not responding to the hate. She is focusing on elevating. What are your thoughts? And thank you so very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any hot tea for me, definitely message me on Instagram. I am now on Snapchat. So if you're on Snapchat, follow me, add me. I love you guys. Bye.